What is up guys? Greed and Pride here coming at you. Uh, sorry about no videos the past couple days. I had a really busy weekend. Friday, my band played a show. Saturday was my friend's birthday. We went out for that, so not a lot of time for magic, but today's video should hopefully make up for it. Do you like watching people get milled? Because I like watching people get milled. It is a mono blue historic mill deck. The reason I made this card is because Psychic Corrosion is probably one of my favorite cards ever in Magic history. Uh, I don't know if that's lame or not, but I just love it so much. Mill is my favorite alternate win condition. Blue is one of my favorite colors. I know it's pure evil to say that. I know Island should be banned, but don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, the first deck I ever made was a big red deck, don't tell anybody, but the second deck I ever made was a mono blue mill deck, and it looked about like this. So I tried to recreate it the best I could. Uh, obviously we added in a couple things from the new set. Secret Keeper, Amazing Mill Card, Overwhelmed Apprentice, Amazing Mill Card, So Tiny, Pretty Solid Anti-Creature Card, for one mana too. I think it should be at least two, but one mana. Spell Pierce, my favorite counter of all time. Always gets people early game. Completely useless late game, but what are you going to do? We have one Drowned Secrets because we ain't rich out here. I'm not made of wild cards, so just one Drowned Secrets. All these counters, obviously four psychic corrosions. Two patient rebuilding, the wombo combo. Having a psychic corrosion and a patient rebuilding. They pretty much play into each other because patient rebuilding mills and you draw based on the amount of lands that you mill, which then helps you mill more with psychic corrosion. So it's just like, boom. It's card draw, it's mill all in one. Spinning wheel for one mana rock and being able to tar tap. Target creatures, which is good. It'll take care of one creature, uh, an attack phase. Uh, it lets me say, spin the wheel, spin the wheel, which is a funny meme. Google it if you don't know it. We have one Tezzerat. Oh, I don't have a Jason here. That's what, I forgot to put Jason. Hmm. Maybe I'll make another video with Jace. I already recorded everything for this, but Tezzerat, he's here because his zero draws cards, and he's also here to make blockers and his ult, because his ult might not look like much in this deck, you're probably thinking, like, Green and Bride, like, you have so many instants and sorceries. Why does a permanent card matter? Well, you can slam a, a Psychic Corrosion or a Patient Rebuilding every turn. And once that starts stacking up, you pretty much win. River's Rebuke, the best blue board wipe. Late game, it really saves your life. And early game, it just sits in your hand burning a hole like a rock because it's six mana but it's worth it we got gadwick he's card draw he's tapping he's a big meaty boy at three three so pretty solid overall and island the most controversial card in all of magic probably but that's the mana base here it is sideways so you can see you can see it's a very uh very focused deck. A lot of mostly all play sets or close to a play set. So I could probably make it all play sets if I really wanted to cut a couple cards. But there it is right now. We're going to go out in this event. I've been losing like crazy. Like I have three wins, and I think two of them, the people just immediately quit. So I'm not saying this deck's good. I'm saying this deck is fun. And I'm saying frustrating your opponent to the point of being milled it's like it's like a kid it's like a fat kid and cake me and watching my opponent get milled is like a fat kid and cake so let's get out there and raise some thoughts you know i haven't won a single practice match yet but you know what f it we're just gonna do it live this is gonna be it boom good hand keeps Overwhelmed Apprentice, into Drowned Secrets, into getting more land. We go first. Bam. This is going to be good. Ugh. I can feel it in my bones. Going against 
Azorius, literally the most annoying guild in the world, but that is fine. We got our one drowned secrets out, because we're not rich. We don't just have wild cards to spare, so we got the one in our deck, and it's going to lead us to victory. This so tiny is probably useless if they're playing control. It might be, it might be flyers, but could still just be control. Bam! Oh, it's flyers. Okay, we're this is a pretty good matchup. We got unsummon and so tiny right off the bat, and yeah, I'll keep that. No attacks, because doing life point damage is for dumb brutes. We're smart round here. We're blue. We got big brain blue plays. And no counters, which really sucks. My deck is half counters, and I have none. My turn. Do I Gadwick for one? Nah. Mm, I am going to pressure a little bit because I legitimately want... I don't want to do damage, don't get me wrong, but I don't want that Storm Tamer on the field because I want to be able to unsummon something bigger. But they don't block. Spectral Sailor. Uh, nothing worse worth unsummoning yet they could slam down a sephora here and that'd be bad i wouldn't be able to unsummon it because the storm tamer another storm tamer okay they're getting quite the wall of defense here Nothing really to so tiny, nothing really to unsummon. They don't even attack. That's weird. Definitely gonna Chadwick for two here. Let's hit that Sephora. Nope, another Eagle though. That's good. Chadwick, it's gonna be, or Gadwick's gonna be big. I'm, I've been watching too much Merchant. It's gonna be big, big on that D. I'm gonna keep the attack up. Just because I want them to trade some of these flyers away. Nope, okay. Spinning wheel, that's going to be good. Between spinning wheel and Gadwick, I have buku amounts of tapping going on. They're never going to be able to attack. Does the four come down? Do it. That's a four. Yep, that's annoying. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Mm. Do I let them untap the other blue before I go for the unsummon? No, because then... Uh, no, because I want to be able to tap Sephora down if the unsummon doesn't work. Now they have triple blue. If I can get these Storm Tamers off the field, though, I'm going to try to unsummon Sephora. Uh, I'm going to tap her either way, because they're probably, yeah, they're going to sacrifice the Storm Tamer. That's fine by me. I honestly might save this off just to keep tapping her, but I do have spinning wheel, so maybe not. Mm -hmm. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Ooh, that sucks. I mean, them being indestructible doesn't really mean anything, though. Got a winged word. Ooh, another unsummon. Gonna draw it.
Let's see if we can get rid of this other Storm Tamer. They can't have a counter open, so they gotta sacrifice the Storm Tamer. That's less damage in the long run for us. That's fine by me. There's the other Sephora in the bin. Super bad draw. I can tap down two things. I now. No, we big brain. We don't do life point damage. An opt. Here's the thing. Do I so tiny Sephora or do I just keep tapping her down? I think I saved the so tiny. That's rough. I definitely have to tap that. Ouch. Where are my counters? This deck is literally half counters and I haven't drawn a single one. Ooh, I did that too late. That sucks. I'm going to have to save that. I could have tapped one of those down. Tezzeret can make blockers at least and distract him. So that's good. No attack and turn. So I have to so tiny probably the eagle. And then and then tap. Sephora. And I one point from dead. Which is not good. Unless they go for Tezzeret. Are you going to go for Tezzeret? What? You can put me down to one point from dead and you go for Tezzeret? Interesting play by the opponent. They're sitting on way too many cards, though. They're going to win this. You are so late. Well, if they play something pre-combat, I can tap two things instead of one. I'm still dead, I think, but... Or no, I go down to one again. Okay, see? Oops. So I at least get to tap two things now. So I go down to one here. Oh, I need to put oh, that blue board wipe in here. The merfolk one that bounces all the permanents. Hey. Forgot I had that blocker. I only go down to three now. Alright, we out. Okay, this is good. We actually have a counter for once in our opening hand. Bam. Uh, let's go for maximum mill potential. Gruel dinosaurs? Okay, not a terrible matchup for us. Oh, that's super weeby. Weeby. Once upon a time isn't ah isn't banned. That's annoying. That's a pretty picture. I don't know why she went from like black to Japanese, but whatever. Not a terrible matchup for us. We have some pretty good anti-creature stuff, so as long as it doesn't go too quick, okay, that's good. Overwhelmed apprentice. Gonna do some scrying. I don't need another land. I will take that opt though. Merfolk Secret Keeper, nice blocker. 
for the smaller dinosaurs, and it has zero attack, so it doesn't trigger the smaller dinosaurs' enrage effects. And, oh my god, why would you not let me mill you? This was going to be the perfect match, and you ruined it. Cool, let's do this. I'm going to mill you so hard. Really good opening hand. Opponent goes first, which kind of sucks and kind of useless if they aren't a creature deck. Don't you dare do it. Don't you turn one discard me. Another self-mill deck. This is like the fourth self-mill deck. Why is that so popular? Okay, literally, this is like the fourth self-mill deck I've played, and I don't know why it's so insanely popular and historic. Which, I thought the other times I would, uh... Oh, they're gonna build themselves. Yeah. So we should have a great matchup against this, okay? We should be able to just mill them to zero quicker than they can get their stuff out. The last four times, that was not the case. I lost horribly. But this is the time. Do they have anything good in their graveyard? Yeah, I'll just so tiny that if I have to. This is the time, though, that I actually win. I mill them before they get their big stuff out and kill me. I will not lose to self mill a fourth time. Nobody defeats greed and pride four times in a row and gets away with it. Nobody. Well, I cannot play Psychic Corrosion now, which sucks. Unless I get the land. Hey! Double Psychic Corrosion. This play brought to you by Spell Pierce, my favorite counter of all time. Play Bond of Revival. You play Bond of Revival right now, you coward. Oh. That's annoying. I'm just going to stop that train from happening. Nope. Tamiyo can't ult, so I don't really have to worry about her. Her ability is kind of annoying, but... I'm on the mill train now, baby. I got counters, I got anti-creature stuff, I have double psychic corrosion. If I don't win this game, this deck is impossible. Pew pew. Mm, that's annoying. Pew pew, Coolio. Do I opt now for the fifth land? No, I can play pretty much everything. I don't have to. Citrus Supplier. They really can't find this fifth land, can they? They could just get it out of the graveyard with Tammy if they wanted to. There they go. Now they're doing it. I guess I'll so tiny again. I don't really have anything else to do with it. Boop. I'm gonna opt here. Island, nope. Watch it be patient rebuilding now. Oh, look at that call. Because I didn't take that island. This is, RNGs is punishing me. I knew it. Well, I got two counters open, so I can spell Pierce and Quench, or I can didn't say please and Quench, so. Things are looking up for old crackhead Greedo, and they're down to 12 cards, so unless they slam a Jace, which they can't. Because... Nope. 
I'm going to win this one, I think. I'm going to the library. So this is a trap. That sucks. I'm so far ahead, I cannot risk patient building. I'm gonna leave over double counters because I need, I'm so close to milling them anyway. Oh no, you didn't say please. Please counter me. See, I would have lost right there if I played patient rebuilding. I can't stop a second one though. Not with quench. I need like a spell pierce or another quench or didn't say please. I swear to God, if they slam, no, they can't because they're going to be completely out of cards. I won. Yes. First win. I did it. It feels good. I actually, I mean, they were helping me. They probably milled themselves more than I milled them, but still, I won. That's all the that matter. Okay, let's see this hand. Uh, nope. Let's see this hand. Uh, a little, little, not super great. I would love a scry. I would love a draw effect. Oh, anime Nissa. I haven't seen this one yet. She really already looks like an anime girl. Forest Hitler over here. Killing all the minorities in the forest. Uh, I'm going to keep Quench open. I don't see 0 4 absolutely being the end all be all of turn 2. So he's Green Elf Ball. Okay. Eh. Might as well. I, I want to play Psychic Corrosion next turn. Yep. We should be good against Elf, Elf Ball. We can counter their stuff. So tiny he's going to have a ton of targets here. Yeah, we should, we should be alright. I mean, I don't want to... Ooh, that's a tough bottom. I mean, Tezzeret's obviously a top, but definitely a tough bottom. It's equal to her power? Oh no! That's so funny! I thought it was her toughness. That's hilarious. Nope. It's literally going to be worth zero mana now. She creates negative five mana. Now she creates negative four mana. Now she creates... Oh, I did not know the elves had a... A leader. That's insane. Wow, that is a crazy tutor effect. Okay, maybe we aren't as well off as I thought we were. That's... I did not know that card existed. That's nuts, though. Gadwick, pretty bad draw. Another 0 4, though, so that's good. Nature Mommy, still not able to make any mana, which is hilarious. Okay. Interesting choice. This does not feel great, but I gotta keep the tempo going. Just another land. Not super perfect. My opponent doesn't know that, though. It could be anything. It could be the spookiest card in the world. It could be a River's Rebuke, and they wouldn't know. They're, I don't want to jinx it, but they're really not going wide enough yet. Ah, that's smart. That's definitely smart. 
So they get around my Sotani that way. They get Buku mana right now. Oh. It's just a once upon a time. They can't play Nyssa right now if they get her, because three of that mana is only for creatures, so they get... Two? There's two elf tutors? Why did I not know this? Why didn't anybody tell me? She... She just makes elves? Why was I unaware this deck existed? Somebody out there should have told me. This sucks. I was in total control of this match. Even an opt would, like, help me. Like, anything that isn't land. Wow. Wow. That's nutso. Now I know why Samud is in here, so you can have... Oh, wow. River's Rebuke? Please? River's Rebuke? Buke? Oh, yeah, you... Oh, oh, oh yeah, you take this time. I'm gonna draw River's Rebuke right now. And then, I'm gonna mill you 22 cards. Don't attack. Mm, don't attack. Mm. Well, I'm dead next turn. But I'm about to draw River's Rebuke, so it's fine. And... River's Rebuke. Please stop. Stop flooding me out, game. Okay. If they play another card pre-combat, I can tap something else. I mean, I'm obviously going to lose. Yeah, I'm just going to lose. Oh, yeah. This is a spicy hand. Boom. Okay, they're either mill or they're self mill. I mean, if, if they're self mill, I will take them down a notch. Oh, that's hilarious. I know what they are. They're the, uh, they're the only islands treasure hunt and Jace deck. That's so funny. I just have to counter that Jason, I'm gonna win. Which means I need to scry to a counter. Spell Pierce, that's good. Because they're gonna mill themselves out. The second they uh, play Treasure Hunt, they're gonna mill themselves. So all I have to do is counter Jace. Or I just have to uh, mill all their Jaces. They might have one in hand. Yep, there goes two Jaces. This is going to be a horrible win for us, or an even worse loss. I mean, I'm going to end my magic career if I lose to this. There goes Treasure Hunt. They're going to mill their whole deck. Up, oh, they didn't get too far down. Here's the real question. Do they play Jace on Kurt next turn? Oh, no. They're going to be at six mana. I just have to tag it down. Spell Pierce, I love you so much, but you, you aren't helping me here. Ah, there we go. There's the flavor. Do I BM this? Eh, I might BM this. Hopefully they don't play the land first. Just slam Jace without the land. I'll BM like crazy if they don't play that land first. Ah, you did it. He did it to me. Okay. Opponent saving that Jace for the very end. As far as I know, this deck doesn't run any counters. Oh, they might be saving up for two Jaces, if that's the case. Right here, baby. 
Hey, look at that. Oh, I'm, oh, this is a win. There's nothing they can do now. There's no way they get those two Jaces through. Or even the one Jace. He's scrying? That's weird. I guess looking for the other Jace. He's probably going to go for a double Jace play. Impossible. Didn't say please he's going to get one. And then Quench Spell Pierce combo gets the other no matter what. Hold my dick. Yeah, do it. Do it. Let the chase flow through you. What are you going to do? You're going to slam that chase? You got eight mana. Why are you scrying right before I mill you? That's weird. I guess so I don't mill the Jace. Patient Reborn, building, nope. Blue too slow, and I cannot let these shields down right now. Oh, that was the last Jace, good game. BM'd, boy. I mean, good game again, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, 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 you didn't say the magic words. Well, that was a pretty lame game to end on, but this deck's doing really bad. But, yeah, pretty good. Mill's definitely my favorite alternate win condition, so this deck is very near and dear to my heart, so I had fun playing it. So I hope you had fun watching. I definitely had fun making this video. And if you're still loving what I do here, let me know. Thanks.